too many people go through their trading career struggling unnecessarily. How do I know that people go through this? Well, it's because I was one of those people for years. I struggled unnecessarily because I had resources that I could have been using, but I chose not to use them. Reason being because I was trying to follow what other people were doing on social media. So in this video, I'll be showing you a resource that you actually have access to that you can be using that you should be using to maximize your profits and even if you're not profitable yet it could help steer you or lead you in the right direction so this actual resource that i'll be talking about it's what we call a forex carry trade so let me go into my blackboard because you know when i when i actually go into the blackboard a lesson is coming right so this is what we did last week so we're not we, we're not on this lesson for today so what we are talking about is a forex carry trade right and essentially a forex carry trade means that you are trying to use interest rates to your advantage like i said you're either maximizing profits if you are profitable if you're not profitable it will lead you in that direction but i'll i'll be able to explain everything as we go along right so we are looking at forex carry trade uh, okay let's do this as in capital letters uh, so we're looking at a forex carry trade and you know you know that the standard it needs we need to change the color and let's make it large right so forex carry trade so what is a forex carry trade so a forex carry trade we use it okay let's change the size so used to take advantage so we use it to take advantage of interest rates interest interest rates so what do I mean we use it to take advantage of interest rates uh, so that means that we sell a low interest rate currency uh, we sell a low interest interest rate currency against a higher interest rate currency right so essentially this is using interest rates to your advantage right because if you have an understanding of where interest rates currently sit for the different currencies or economies then you can use that to your advantage and you actually take a carry trade and then another point okay let's change color and just make it white let's adjust the size a bit okay then another point here is the fact that or what is the aim when it comes to 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 actually using or or executing a carry trade right so the aim uh, let's write the aim the aim is to get a return from just holding the position remember what I said earlier I said this resource will actually help you to maximize your profits or if you are not profitable yet it will actually help lead you in that direction right so a forex carry trade is used to take advantage of interest rates that number one number two we sell a low interest rate currency against a higher interest rate currency the aim is to get a return from just holding the position and we profit we profit from the interest rate spread so 
so we profit from the interest rate spread right so essentially interest rate spread means the difference between two interest rates that that is what an interest rate spread is right so this is essentially what a forex carry trade is right so this is a resource that i wanted to share with you guys that i wanted to show you guys that will help you if you're profitable maximize your profits if you're not profitable it will actually help you help steer you in the right direction because when you have an understanding of this then a lot of things will make sense it will also okay let us add a last point helps it also helps in managing emotions in managing emotions and patience because look at it this way if you know that you're getting paid for just holding the position are you really in a rush for the trade to go in your direction or to go in your intended direction that is the question so if you know that every single night the broker will pay me will you really rush the trade to go in your direction of course you would like that but then when that eventually happens you would have already started getting a return from just holding the position from just having the position open right so this is what i wanted to share with you guys this is the key to maximize your profits and also to get you or start you in your journey of being profitable because you there's no traders struggle unnecessarily guys i was that i was i was one of those people like i said for five years i didn't know this i was trying to follow what everyone else was doing on social media just focusing on getting pips getting pips getting pips nothing wrong with getting pips don't hear me don't hear me don't hear me don't hear me the wrong way there's nothing wrong with that but there are also other ways that you can maximize your profits and this was one of them and when I when I found up when I found out about this after five years of struggling in the forex market, it changed a lot of things. Like I said, it helped me with my emotions. It helped me with my patience. Because from there onwards, I allowed my positions to actually run as further as they could. Because if you go back to this chart, this is an AUD NZD trade. This is the weekly time frame, guys. And I've been holding this trade. This one I think it was around uh, June 2023. This one I executed around uh, October 2023. And the trade, of course, is moving in my direction. We had a huge drop this week. But since June last year, I've been getting an interest payment every single night from my broker. Why? Because I understood Forex carry trade. I used that resource to my advantage. Because if you look at interest rates, you can see here, this is the interest rates. We have 4.35 for Australia. We have 5.5 for New Zealand. So that essentially means that I sold a lower interest rate currency, AUD, against a higher interest rate currency, New Zealand. Because remember, in, 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 in Forex, it's a foreign exchange. You buy one currency for the other or you sell one currency for another. So if I sold New Zealand Australian dollar, that means I used Australian dollar to fund my buy on New Zealand dollar. And that means now I have a positive interest rate spread because the difference between the two is positive so now the broker needs to pay me that interest every single night that i have my trade open yes this interest rate interest rate spread here is not that wide because if we look at a position like nzd jpy where jpy has negative 0.1 percent interest compared to new zealand which has 5.5 so if you buy new zealand jpy the broker is paying you good for every single night that you have your position opened. And that's the thing. The aim here is to get a return for just holding the position. Obviously, you'd like the position to move in your favor if it's a buy. In this case, because it's a sell on AUD, NZD, of course, that would be good. Now it's a double win. We are maximizing on the profits. We are, maxim we are, not, we, we are now no longer just focusing on making pips only. We want to maximize our, our, our returns. We want to hold the position and be comfortable holding the position and be patient enough to hold the position until it starts moving in our favor. Even if it takes five days for the trade to actually start moving in our favor, we, are, we will be comfortable holding because from day one, we know that we are getting paid. We know that the broker will be paying us. So that is the resource, guys. And as you can see, this is 
the actual trade that I was showing you guys AUD New Zealand dollar Australian dollar against the New Zealand dollar as you can see my swap here is positive of course I'm using a 0 0.10 lots and I've been holding this trade for a, for a, yeah, a couple of months and I've scaled out of my positions here and there but essentially still the swap is positive pips are positive 403 pips 320 pips here pips are positive the spread is positive this is what I call maximizing your profits this is what I call not choosing to struggle unnecessarily in the forex market and using the resources that you have access to or the resources the resources that you could be using and you actually should be using to maximize because even if you're not profitable guys if you know that every single day the broker will pay me for having that position opened even if you are guessing on the direction i don't advise that because there's no need for you to guess if you use fundamentals to your advantage but you'll be able to get some return for just having that position opened it will instill more confidence in you in your trading and of course if you are holding you will be able to hold for longer periods be able to hold for longer times until the trade actually moves in your favor because if we look at if we look at uh, let's go back to the trade if we look at this AUD uh, NZD trade had I had I closed when the market pulled back here with another bullish weekly candle had I closed and panicked then I would have missed out on this whole move right but then because I because I knew that I'm getting paid every single day, I was okay holding. I was comfortable holding. There was no rush for the trade to go in my favor, to go in my direction because I knew fundamentally that it was a sell, right? Because remember, like we said in, 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 in the in the previous video or in the last video, uh, that we actually start with we actually start with fundamentals to get to get the actual direction right we start with fundamentals to get the actual direction so i knew my my direction was on lock i did the whole technical technical analysis process that i shared with you guys in the last video and then i executed and just waited until the market started moving in my in my favor or in my direction and i was comfortable and patient enough to hold because i was getting paid from day one so this is a resource guys that you can start using today Right, like I said, the most important thing is having an understanding of interest rates. Where do we sit when it comes to interest rates, right? Uh, and then your interest rate spread is it positive, is it negative, right? So those are the things that you need to take note of when it comes to a carry trade, when it comes to you executing a carry trade. And of course, like I said, the wider the interest rate spread, like I used that example of uh, New Zealand against the Japanese yen then the better your broker will be paying you. And obviously, if you are on the other side of interest rates, if you sell NZD JPY, now who's getting charged? The broker is charging you. So every single night, the broker is eating into your profits if the trade is moving in your direction. If the trade is not moving in your direction, you keep on piling up a negative hold. Will you always get a carry trade? No, not every single time. But if you know about it, take advantage of it if you're looking for a trade idea generating trade idea see if you're looking to buy the dollar where can i possibly get a positive interest payment from me buying the dollar and then you do your comparison uh, uh, along those lines because if you don't know about it you can't use it right so i know this is not spoken about a lot when it comes to social media uh everyone is only talking about pips telling you about pips pips that pips this uh one is to five, one is to 10, one is to 100, one is to whatever. But guys, use this as well. Use this to your advantage. It will benefit you a lot in terms of improving your psychology, number one. And number two, improving your emotions and your patience, right? Yes, you can watch a lot of uh, psychology improvement videos. Those will help. But if you know that you are getting paid an interest for just holding your trade, trust me, that will improve your psychology and your patience exponentially compared to you just watching a couple of videos and trying to learn it you know so this is the resource that i wanted to share with you guys because when i discovered this it actually helped it improved my trading a lot significantly even the trade that i that i was holding since uh, 2020 2021 yeah towards the end of 2021 that i exited in 2022 which was a buy on usd jpy that one was paying me well because the dollar 
or the United States kept on in increasing their interest rates, whereas the Bank of Japan they've been keeping their in of they've held their interest rates at negative zero point one all this time. So I, so the amount that my broker was paying me kept on increasing every single month. The the Fed actually hiked interest rates. You know, so use this guy, use this to your advantage, use this resource to your advantage. It's available to everyone. Yes, I only showed you on 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 my spreadsheet when it comes to the actual um the actual interest rates because I because it's easier because it just shows all the currencies or economies that I trade but I've shown you guys in one of the videos go to tradingeconomics.com you will get all this info here you will get all this data right and then understand the difference between the interest rates of the economies that you're looking to trade and then trade accordingly you know and then trade accordingly guys it's not necessarily for, necessary for you guys to struggle especially in this day and age uh, like I said, I struggled for five years. There's no need for you to go through that. Use this, take advantage of the interest rate spreads. And then if the trade goes in your direction, it's a double win. You're getting paid twice. It wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt to actually get paid twice. So why not take advantage of this? Why not take advantage of this knowledge? You know, so this will change your trading. This will improve your trading. And most importantly, it will improve your psychology and your emotions in trading, right? So. I hope you found value in this video and if you did of course as normal hit the thumbs up like the video share the video and of course don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and also share this video with other people and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another trade and like I said guys there's no fault in you using this to maximize your trades because if you do and the trade moves in your direction you'll be winning twice you'll be getting paid twice it's a double win for you so start applying this today and i and trust me it will improve your trading because nothing is as painful as seeing a retail trader struggle besides the fact that i've also struggled but at this point where i'm at i i can look back and see that there is actually no reason for us to struggle because retail traders are one of the most disciplined people and i know it will be hard for you to believe this but they are one of the most disciplined the most hard-working people but hard work is not always just the answer also knowing a couple of resources that you can take advantage of makes the hard work more bearable right so there's no need for you to struggle unnecessarily and of course like i said don't forget to subscribe and obviously like the video if you found value from this video until the next video cheers guys